Hello, I'm Ted. Today, I want to share a journey with you. It's a journey many of you will find familiar. Picture yourself standing before an audience, your heart racing, palms sweating, and words refusing to leave your throat. That's the feeling of dread. That's stage fright, and it's something I know all too well. You see, despite being a singer, a teacher, and a vocal coach, I spend much of my life petrified of public speaking. My journey from fear to fluency is not just a personal story, however, but a path I believe many can relate to and learn from. As a high school student, I remember overwhelming anxiety of oral reports. Singing was my comfort zone, but speaking? That was a mountain I thought I could never climb. And this challenge was deepened by my struggle with memorization, a struggle that extended from school to the stage. Adding to this pressure was the fact that my father was a college professor, an expert in communications, speech, rhetoric, storytelling. You can imagine the shadow that cast over me. Here I was, struggling to utter a few coherent words, while my father navigated these realms with ease. It felt like I was living in a world where I simply couldn't measure up. Let me share a revelation with you. Years later, reflecting on my career, I realized something profound. As a choir teacher, a director, a vocal coach, every day I was engaging in public speaking. Can you believe it? I was a public speaker and didn't even know it. This insight was my turning point. I began to see that the skills I naturally used in teaching and directing, storytelling, engaging with an audience, effective use of my voice, these were the tools of public speaking. And the key? Authenticity. Embracing my unique style transformed not just how I spoke, but how I felt about speaking. And so here I am today, no longer in fear of public speaking, but embracing it as a platform to share, to educate and inspire. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that our greatest strengths often lie in the experiences we've overlooked. To those of you who feel that fear of public speaking, remember, your path to fluency might already be unfolding. Embrace your unique experiences. Embrace your voice. Sometimes the best way to conquer a fear is to realize you've been facing it all along. Thank you for joining me in this journey. I hope my story inspires you to find your voice and your path to fluency in public speaking. Remember, it's not just about overcoming fear. It's about embracing who you are and what you bring to the stage. Until next time, keep speaking, keep sharing, and keep being you.